yes, yes, yes. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't said anything, but thanks for that. <laughs> Listen, I know you all look at me and like, who the hell is this guy? I totally get that. Like, I'm not some famous like K-pop star. I get that, you know. But officially this year, I can say that I am an international comedian, right? I'm so happy because I did a show in KL, so that counts. As long as my passport is chopped, international comedian. That's what that's the way it works. It's fun to be. I just I just got back uh, from Malaysia. I performed a couple of shows in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, it, it sucked because the first day I got there, all the comics already giving me shit. They were like, "How does it feel like to be in a country with tastier food?" Tastier food. That's all I kept hearing. Tastier food. You know what? We have like similar food, Singapore and Malaysia, right? But it tastes different. That's why Malaysians are annoyed because ours taste clean, right? That's. I just did that for the camera for no reason. <laughs> no, but like, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. The dynamic between Singapore and Malaysia. We we need to stop doing this to each other. Like the fighting, the thing. Because a lot of people say we're like brothers. We're always bound to fight. We're not brothers. Okay, we are ex. Like husband and wives, like we are a divorced couple, right? <laughs> we moved on. We we improved our life. We had a better job, right? We got stable income, <laughs> right? And they just got out of an abusive relationship, <laughs> you know. So we have to be nice to them as Singaporeans. We have to be nice. Like we need to stop being dicks, Singapore. I'm not gonna lie. We have to stop being dicks to Malaysians because, like, we won. Like we need to chill out. <laughs> like no one likes a sore winner, right? Like what do we do? Right, National Day this year, 2019. What did we do? We invited them over. Right, National Day, we invited the Prime Minister of Malaysia, we invited the Sultan of Brunei, and a couple of Indonesians. I don't know who they are, but you know, uh, <laughs> they showed up. It's fine. When, when, like, especially that scene was like a family gathering of like a whole family. And what do we do at a family gathering? If you all know, we hang out at the nicest house. Right? And that is what Singapore is. Right? We all hang out at Singapore's house. But we were not gracious hosts. We were dicks. What did we do? We showed off all our latest gadgets. Right? That's what National Day is. Right? So in essence, we were all hanging out and then we were just chilling and Singapore just like, this button, boom, and show off the fireworks. Right? See, we got millions to waste. You know, like, we can't do that. And then we were all just chilling, having a good time with each other and Singapore just goes, uh, Alexa, play Majula Singapura. <laughs> Malaysia just gets annoyed, right? Because like, Wait, why is the song different? We're like, oh, this is the Ramli Sarip remix. <laughs> and they're like, but we discovered them first. I'm like, you gotta be used to us stealing your shit now. Come on. <laughs> like, are we still annoyed by this, Malaysia? Uh, I don't know why. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't know why, but I'm getting more and more patriotic nowadays. Like, I, I, just, I just don't know. I think it's because, like, this year I just finished my national service. <laughs> I know. I know. You're welcome, okay? You're welcome for everything that I did for you guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I, I, I didn't do a lot. Like, like, most soldiers get to say that I fought for your freedom, I didn't. <laughs> Alright? I slept for your freedom, okay? <laughs> it was the best two year nap of my life. <laughs> A great rest. I had two years worth of rest. Like, I, 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 Singapore's army is not impressive, in a sense. Like, we, yeah, we have cool shit, Singapore army, but it's not impressive because guys like me are in the army. Like, that's how you know your army is like... They let me in. Like, for two years, I was a soldier. In no other country is your soldier wearing a triple XL uniform. <laughs> this is not a thing. I can't. Like, I'm not... It's not scary at all. Like, it was weird. Like, because I entered army at the age of 24. That's a really late age to enter the army, guys. 24 years old is super late, right? And I, I was weirded out because, like, as a 24-year-old Malay guy, it was weird for me to enter the army because I got yelled at by 19-year-old Chinese boys. <laughs> right? It's not scary. Like, so, uh, so you know. You know what I'm talking about. Like, you've seen a mirror. Like, <laughs> you're not, like, you're not afraid of that. Like, Chinese boys, we all can agree, are the most non-scary entity the world has ever known. <laughs> Like, I have to pretend to be afraid of, like, my 19-year-old sergeant, you know? Like, he'll be yelling at me, I have to look down, it's like, sir, yes. Like, you know, like, it's not scary <laughs> at all, right? Like, there was too much free time when I was in the army. Too much free time. So, like, you started to think, and as, as, as a Malay man, it's weird for me to, like, think. Like, it's not, a, like, it's not a, one of our specialties. Some of us do it, and some of us become great, but most of us are just like, ah, whatever lah. Like, you know? <laughs> Like, you can see that, man. Like, now in Singapore, if you don't know, like, Chinese people, Chinese people are, like, running a lot of stuff. And it happens in the army. That's where, like, I figured it out. 
Because like, I sense like, the confidence level. Like army is where Chinese people gain their confidence. You go to the army, you meet all the recruits lined up. You ask the Chinese recruit, they'll be like, uh, you know, what do you want to be? The Chinese recruit will be like, I want to be a sergeant. I want to be an officer. You ask the Malay recruit, you ask the Indian recruit, they're like, driver also can. Ah. Like, <laughs> the disparity in confidence is too big. That's why, like, you know. Yeah, so I, 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 was, I, was, I was a driver in the army. <laughs> like I said, I have too much time to think that, like, People said I was fighting for freedom, but do you guys think that we have freedom in Singapore? Yeah. You, you sure? Yes. Okay, like they said it, I, did, I didn't say it. Okay? <laughs> but I can explain it in one way. If freedom in Singapore was an app on your phone, it would be freedom light. <laughs> right? You have freedom, but to unlock full freedom, please insert your credit card details and... <laughs> you gotta pay, you gotta pay for that shit, you know? I, I did get to go out to uh, camp sometimes to hang out with a couple of friends and like hang out with comedians and stuff. Hang out with comedians, like they gave me so much shit, but they asked so many good questions as well. They asked me why Singapore has an army, right? That's a great question. And I honestly don't know how to answer that, right? I don't know how to answer that. So I went back to camp. I looked for my 19 year old officer, right? <laughs> I was like, ah, boy, ah. No, I was like, I was like, sir, I need to ask you a question. I was like, sir, can we talk for a bit? I need to ask you a question. Why does Singapore have an army? Okay, so this, uh, this is the official SAF answer to why Singapore has an army. Okay, Singapore has an army because we are a deterrent force. We don't attack, we defend, we are the guard dog guarding the house, right? I called bullshit immediately, <laughs> right? I raised my hand, I was like, sir, if we are a deterrent force, then we are not the guard dog. At most, we are the beware of dog sign. <laughs> Yeah, so that joke cost me 20 push-ups, <laughs> by the way. And clearly it didn't work, okay? Uh, my name is Kamro, you guys will be great. Enjoy the rest of your night, thank you.